go to the page, <coughs> and I'm sure your Quran is printed in Saudi Arabia, right? Okay. Just to show people in here how Muslims they play the game when they want, they are in the corner. Okay. Open the page, number, not number, it's called A, Alif, A. Okay, it's in the end of the Quran. It says, Ta'rif on Bihad al Mus'haf. Introduction to this book. This Mus'haf written according to the tale of Hafs the son of Sulaiman, the son of Ibn al-Mughira, Ibn al-Asadi, al-Kufi, according to the reading too, of Asim bin Abi and Nujud al-Kufi, al-Tabi, according to an Abd al-Rahman, Abd al-Rahmani, Abd al-Lah ibn Habib al-Sunnah, according to an Uthman ibn Affan, according to Ali ibn Abi Talib, according to Yazid ibn Thabit, according to Abi Ka'ab, وعن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم. All those are according to. Listen, you should not take the Quran. You just said those who they are according to, according to, according to. We should not accept them. Correct, guys? Did you say that? All of us, we heard it. Now I showed you how many according to. For the Quran, not the Hadith. You are my. Right, you are right, Christian. So, me as a Muslim, how am I conviction? How? I read the Quran, and I tell to myself, this is from, from God. So, faith, I believed. This is from God, I believed. Well, you are, you know, you are, you know, a friend. I don't know how smart you are. You just said you don't accept the hadith. You made a decision. You don't accept the hadith because it's according to, according to. Guys, did he say that? You rejected the hadith because it's again, you know, according to. I just showed you your Quran. All of it is according to. So you should be honest. The same as did you reject the hadith for being according to? Why you don't reject the Quran for according to? What is your faith? How come you have faith in the Quran, even if it's according to, but you don't want to have a faith in the Hadith when it's the same, it's according to? This is showing us a double standard, and you are not an honest. You're Mike. Okay, well, I believed in Quran not because of according or whatever. I read the Quran, and I said, I talked to myself, whoever, according to whoever, I believe that this is the, the, the words of God. I don't care who is according. Ah, now you don't care. I see. Okay, let me ask you a question. Does the Quran say that Allah will give you a lot of pretty boys in the heaven? A servant? Did Allah say that in the Quran? Yes or no? Your mic. As long as you believe in the Quran. Well, first of all, in Quran, uh, there are many values. There are historical facts. There are Don't give me a speech. Does your Quran promise you? A lot. Dejen la droga, dejen la droga. Take the mic, Efran, your mic. Does your Quran say you will have a lot of boys in the heaven? Or now you will say, I don't believe in it, because it's according to your mic. 
uh, it says that uh, it describes it describes with uh, poetic with poesy I don't know how to say poesy poetic uh, the promise of paradise that we will be served that people who who works hard in life and are honest they will be rewarded and they will be served and they will get whatever in the paradise it's all another question are you going to have a lot of boys to serve you either you say yes or you say no Allah will give you a lot of boys to serve you yes or no your mind yeah, the, the Quran doesn't uh, explain who are those boys maybe electronic boys electronic Electronic boys, I see. Yeah, those IBM computers, you know, made in Japan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, they will not be called boys. They will be called machines. Your God Allah is calling them boys, man. And not only that, your God Allah is saying that they are very beautiful. Very beautiful, even like pearls. Here we go. And he is actually saying that they are youth. Do you call machines youth? Do you call machines youth? Chapter 52, verse number 24. And this is the verse in the Quran as it is. This is not my translation. Have you ever heard about a youth machine? Your mind? Well, look, you use the... Okay, no problem. As long as you put it to me and you give me back the mic, no problem. You are uh, courageous. Okay, no problem. Uh, so, the Quran, it can talk about electronics and techniques to the true believers at the time because they will not understand. And maybe the generation of our days who will not understand some things in Korea. Oh, maybe. So Allah, because you don't understand, so when you go to heaven now you will get screwed because Allah, He told you youth. But when you go there, you will find a machine. Which means Allah, it's okay for Him to lie to you. If Allah promised you a machine, you get machine, you will not get upset, but if Allah I promise you a very young youth, you go there, you find him a machine, you will get screwed. You will be angry, you will say, well, what this guy is saying? Secondly, did your prophet agree that they are beautiful youth? Your prophet, he agreed. So, how come you know more than your prophet, and your prophet didn't know? A Muslim, he is a person who knows more about Islam, more than his prophet. Your prophet even described who are the, those boys. Do you want me to show you your mic? Well, the science advances very fast, very fast. And which things which... Uh, which looks impossible become possible. So the same thing, the Quran, it promises some things which may be impossible for the believers of that time and it even... You know, Efron, I don't people need to be stupid with me, honestly. I, I have enough, you know, you want to be stupid, go, you be stupid. Your God says youth, it's mean youth. <laughs> 